All right, so there's a lot of bees out here, as you can see. It's pretty neat, a lot of fun. There's a ton of bees, man. Let's hope we don't get stung. See them. This is one of the jewelry vendors. Okay, I'll just send somebody out for them. One second. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I'm John. This is Leanne. Leanne works at Honeybee Center. She's gonna wear one of the bee beards. And then Tiana is Tiana here. Okay, she's coming in a second, and then she'll wear one, and then we'll have this new person from the uh, from the one of the vendors that'll wear the other one. So what we do basically is very simple. We take these are these are swarms, these these clusters of bees. They're fabricated like you would see when the bees pro uh, propagate when they want to start a new hive. Half of them leave the hive with the old queen, and they form a, a ball on a tree. You've probably all seen that. And, uh, or most of you have, or if not in person, then on TV. And that's what this is. We basically take young bees off the brood nest and their queen, we put her in a cage, and we dump them all in a, in a little box overnight where they, you know, they get to calm down. And then in the morning, we pour them on what we call a swarm post. We take the queen off of that swarm post. She's in a cage, we put her around somebody's neck. Then we take the loose bees, we knock them on a piece of cardboard, and they crawl up, and, and then we feed the cardboard onto their person, the body, and the bees walk right from the cardboard onto the person. Sounds pretty simple, and it really is, but there are some safety precautions. The first one is, is we, we put uh, cotton in the, in the ears of the person wearing the bee beard because if a young bee was to go inside their ear, these are young bees and their job is to clean the hive, they would start scratching inside and cleaning the inside of the ear, which is a really weird feeling. I had one in the, in the truck at Moving Bees at nighttime, one went inside and she was cleaning the ear, and I didn't want, you can't put your finger in the oat, she'll sting you. So I had to wait, and I waited 20 minutes for her to come up. And so that's really the only precaution we take. The rest is uh, the rest is the rest is um, basically we're just watching the bee behavior and watching the model's behavior to make sure that everybody acts appropriately. This one is Jared. Waiting for our novice, our novice. I know. <laughs> so Tiana, she's the youngest, so we'll put the most bees on her. That's fair. She has the least experience with bees, so she can wear the most. No, yes? Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll get started when we're waiting for our last person. Eric, do you want to put a, a queen on uh, Leanne? Is the smoker going? Smoker going? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we use uh, smoke to um, to get the process going yeah, faster. Sure. Okay. Uh, we don't have to. You can you can just take a queen out of a cage, put it on on Leanne, and then throw all the bees in the air. They'll all land on her. But it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So to speed it up for the purpose of the demonstration, 
We use uh, cardboard. We put the bees on the cardboard, and then we hold them up, and the bees just walk up as we push them a little, uh, a little bit with the smoke. Okay. So we're starting this one. So Leanne is. Her, her crew neck is close fitting, so we don't really have to worry about the bee going down her top. But if a bee did go down, we just wait and she would walk right back up. She's attracted to the light. And as long as Leanne doesn't lean forward and open up her crew neck, she'll be fine. And if it's a baggy fitting one, we put a piece of tape there. Just don't open down. No. Leanne's worried, are they going to go up, up the side of her shorts? And, and the, the, short, the short answer is no, the long answer is quite possibly, but they'll come out again. <laughs> okay, and then we'll start this one. And I'm still looking for our last volunteer, but uh, we'll watch for him. No, no, the gentleman is his. No, it's our thing. Okay, then don't worry about it. So we're gonna run the two. Okay, so now, now this is, these are loose bees in a cluster. There's about 10,000 in there, that's good. And uh, so we'll start with a couple thousand, and we're just basically gonna move them to the edge of the cardboard. It's just like a salt and pepper shaker. And then you put them on right up to Leanne, and she, the bees will actually naturally climb up and toward the light. It's, it's a, it's a like a perfumey scent, and it's really hard to detect. But the bees are sensitive to that. The ones that come to the queen cage will smell that. And then they will they will cover the queen cage, and then they in turn put off a different pheromone, a different smell that's very strong. We can smell it in the bee yard. It smells like um, after spice, old spice aftershave lotion. If you had a grandfather, great grandfather that used to wear it, or, or old socks, somewhere in that range of uh, odor, and uh, and that uh, we can smell it, and that attracts the bees in the air to come down and land on her. So that's the beard starting. And I'll start one on Tiana now because she's gonna end up wearing all of them. And if we're gentle and we move slowly, the bees, um, you know, they react in kind. They're also gentle. So what we don't do out here in the bee yard is fake, you know, hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, just kidding. We don't do that. Just in case somebody, th you know, thinks, oh, no, is he kidding or not? That makes everybody nervous. So this is the second queen. And um, I really want to do a third person. We need a volunteer. Okay, who's the hands that went really fast? Okay, come on out there. Yeah. Just have to make sure that the smoke isn't hot. If it's hot, then you burn the wings and then the bees get all freaked out. Okay, which, which, which name? Frank? Okay, Let's give Frank a hand for volunteering. Okay, Frank, come on over here and uh, become the third victim. All right. Uh, uh, volunteer. So here's cotton, just tear it in half and put one in each ear. You can leave the glasses on, but if he goes in behind the glasses, just tell me. Don't all right. freak out about it. That's all. So Leanne, yeah, but if he leaves the glasses on, you can't see the tear inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you can see yourself in the in the glass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So Leanne's bee beard is starting. We're gonna dump a little bit, but just wait for me there, Frank. We're gonna dump some more right here in the on the front. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. And then a little bit more smoke on her. And uh, Tiana, we're going to do nothing to because Tiana's going to end up with all of them on her. Okay, that's good. Just lower it down a little bit. And just leave her and start putting the queen on Frank. Yeah, right there. Good. Okay, put the queen on Frank. So Eric is going to grab a, the third queen for Frank. It's the second time he's done this. And <laughs> yeah, well, it's time. the first time I've done it. So. <laughs> And my partner Tony said to Frank, yeah, this is only the second time we've done this. So, uh, which is not really the case. 